Welcome, dear listeners, to a place where dreams take shape under the canopy of starlit skies and stories are whispered by the wind through the leaves. Tonight, as the world quiets and the moon bay is everything in a soft, silvery glow, let us embark on a journey together, of our journey that leads deep into the heart of an enchanted forest. In this forest, where magic brings life into every nook and cranny, and the melody of nature sings a lullaby, lives a small hedgehog named Henry. Henry, with his curious heart and gentle spirit, is about to take the first steps on journey that will not only lead him beyond the familiar paths of his forest home, but also deep into the realms of friendship, discovery, and the true meaning of happiness. So, find your most comfortable spot, let the worries of the day drift away like leaves on a gentle stream, and allow your imagination to unfurl its wings. Breathe in deeply, exhale slowly, and prepare to be transported to a world, both wondrous and warm. As we follow Henry through towering trees and whispering winds, let the magic of his story embrace you, leading you into a peaceful slumber filled with dreams of adventure, friendship, and the simple joys that make life beautiful. Chapter 1 The Journey Between Song so Upon a time in the heart of a lush and vibrant forest, lived a small hedgehog with an insatiable curiosity and a gentle heart. This little hedgehog named Henry was known for his spiky exterior, which belied his soft and thoughtful nature. Despite the beauty that surrounded him and the camaraderie of the forest creatures, Henry felt a deep longing within him and a desire for something more, something that seemed just beyond his reach. Each day, Henry wandered the forest, marveling at the towering trees, the whispering winds, and the dappled sunlight that dits through the leaves. Yet, wait, with each passing day of the feeling of being on purpose grew stronger, urging him to seek out the source of his restlessness. Determined to find answers, Henry made his way to the oldest and wisest being in the forest, the old oak. This ancient tree had stood tall for centuries, its roots delving deep into the earth, its branches reaching high into the sky. It was said that the old oak held the wisdom of the ages in its gnarled bark, and that its leaves whispered secrets on the wind. Though, though, Henry began, his voice small but filled with resolve, my fear longing in my heart. A yearning for something I cannot name. I'd see the beauty of our forest. I cherish the friendships I have. But still, I feel there is something more for me to find. Can you tell me, why is out where I might find them? Or happiness that eludes me? The old bull regarded him with a gaze that felt as ancient as the stars themselves. Men in a voice that rustled like the leaves in a gentle breeze. It spoke. Renry. Brave little seeker, the happiness you search for cannot be found in the pursuit of something beyond. However, the journey itself may reveal to you the truth you seek. Beyond these woods over the mountains that touch the sky, there lies a place where the essence of true happiness can be discovered. But beware, for the path is long and filled with challenges. Yet. It is through these challenges that you will find the wisdom and joy you seek. Heartened by the old old's words, Henry felt a spark of hope ignite within him. He realized then that his journey was about to begin, a journey not just in search of happiness, but one that would lead him to understand the beauty of life itself. Thank you, old oak, Henry said, his heart swelling with gratitude and excitement. I will set out at dawn, and whatever I find on this journey, I will carry it back to share with all of you. That night, under the twinkling stars and the watchful eyes of the forest, Henry prepared for the journey ahead. He knew not what he would encounter beyond the familiar bounds of the forest, but he was determined to find the happiness the old oak spoke of, even if it meant traversing the unknown. As the first rays of sunlight pierced the morning mist, 
Henry took a deep breath, feeling the forest's life force pulsating around him with a heart full of dreams and a spirit brimming with courage. He stepped beyond the forest's edge into the vast world beyond, his journey just beginning. And so our tale unfolds with a small hedgehog beneath a vast canopy of the sky, embarking on a journey that would reveal the wonders of the world, the depths of friendship, and the simple joys that weave the fabric of true happiness. As Henry ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, guided by the gentle whispers of the wind, in the soft murmur of the earth beneath his feet, he found himself standing before the grandeur of the old oak. This towering present felt like a sentinel guarding the ancient secrets of the forest, its leaves shimmering with the wisdom of the ages. Old oak, Henry began, his voice tinged with reverence and awe. I come to you with a heart heavy with longing and eyes wide with wonder. I seek the warmth of friendship and the light of happiness. Might you share with me a path to such treasures, the old oak? Its branches swaying softly as if to the rhythm of unseen music regarded Henry with a deep, abiding kindness that seemed to emanate from its very core. Dear Henry, the old oak replied, its voice a deep echo that seemed to resonate with the very heartbeat of the forest. A quest for happiness is a noble one, and it is a journey many have taken before you, each finding their own path and their answers. The warmth of friendship, the light of heaven is, these are not destinations, but treasures found along the journey. To find them, you must venture beyond the comfort of what you want, though. Beyond the forest that has cradled you in its embrace, across the river that sings through the meadow of marvels, and towards the mountains that touch the skies, your path, <sighs> your path lies. Along the way, you will meet others who will teach you the true meaning of friendship and the simple joys that bring happiness. And who listened intently, his heart alight with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The journey the old oak described was one of great distance and unknown challenges. But within his heart, a flame of determination was kindled. A desire to discover the depths of friendship and the light of happiness. Thank you, wise old oak, though Henry said, owing deeply to the ancient tree. Why will set forth at dawn, carrying with me the hope of finding the warmth and light you speak of, and I promise to return to share the tales of my journey and the treasures I find with all of you. The old oak nodded, a gentle rustling that seemed like a blessing. Go forth, Henry, with courage in your heart and curiosity in your step. Remember, it is not the destination that defines us, but the journey we undertake, and the friends we make along the way, with a heart now brimming with purpose. Henry spent the night under the watchful eyes of the forest, the stars above weaving dreams of the adventures that lay ahead. As dawn painted the sky with hues of gold and pink, Henry set out on his journey, leaving behind the familiarity of the forest for the promise of discoveries yet to unfold. The first rays of the sun kissed the earth, heralding the beginning of a new day and the start of Henry's quest. With each step, the forest whispered its farewells and blessings, the wind guiding him towards the river that sings the first landmark on his journey to finding the warmth of friendship and the light of happiness. And so Henry's journey began, not as a quest for an end, but, but as a journey towards understanding. A kind of journey that shapes the heart and soul, teaching us that the true treasures of life are found not in the destination that Henry Richard himself. With the blessings of the old old warming his heart, Henry ventured forth his steps light with anticipation, and a quiet courage. A forest seemed to part before him, guiding him towards the melodious sound that beckoned in the distance. It was as if the eighth itself was leading him to his next encounter, the river that sings, a marvel spoken of in whispers among the forest inhabitants, but seldom sang by any. As Henry approached, the sound grew clearer and more melodious, like a choir of a thousand tiny voices, each singing in harmony with the others. The sight that greeted him was one of unparalleled beauty. 
However wide and majestic, its waters glistening into the sun, flooring with a grace that seemed almost ethereal. But it was not just the sight that captivated Hanrung. What was the sound? The river sang, its voice clear and pure, a song of the ages that spoke of joy and sorrow, of beginnings and endings, of the eternal dance of the world. Mesmerized, Henry sat by the bank, letting the song wash over him, feeling a peace he had never known. It was then that the river spoke to him, its voice a gentle ripple that seemed to resonate within his very soul. Welcome, Henry's seeker of happiness and warmth, the river said, its words flowing like the water itself. Ye had journeyed far, yet your journey has only just been pain. The path you seek is one of many lessons, each more valuable than the last. Henry, his heart open and ready to receive the wisdom of the world, replied, Row well, river that sings I am, but a humble traveler, seeking the light of happiness and the warmth of friendship. Tell me, what lessons do you hope for one such as I? The river chuckled, a sound like water tumbling over smooth rocks. My lesson, dear Henry, is one of flow and resilience. That the waters that flow through me, life is ever changing, filled with moments of calm and periods of turmoil. Happiness lies not in avoiding the currents, but in learning to navigate them, to move with grace and strength, and to appreciate the journey for what it is, a series of moments, each with its own beauty and challenge challenges. And he listened intently, the river's words seeping into his being, instilling in him a sense of calm and understanding. He realized that his quest for happiness was not about finding a place or a thing, but about learning to live, to fly with the currents of life, and to find joy in the journey itself. Thank you, river that sings, Henry said, his voice filled with gratitude. Hell, carry your lesson with me. In my heart and in my steps, as I continue my journey, the river smiled, its waters sparkling with a thousand hues of sunlight. Go forth, Henry, with the knowledge that happiness is not a destination, but a way of traveling. Let your heart be light, and let the currents guide you to where you need to be. With a heart filled with love and wisdom, Henry rose, his spirit buoyed by the river's song, and its lesson of flow and resilience. He knew now that each step of his journey was a part of the greater tapestry of life, each moment a note in the song of the world. And so Henry continued on his journey, heaving the river that sings behind but carrying that song within him, a constant reminder of the beauty of life's ever-changing flow with the melody of the river that seemed still of echoing in his heart. Henry's steps led him deeper into the embrace of the forest. The day gave way to the velvet cloak of night, adorned with a tapestry of stars that shimmered with ancient light. It was over this celestial canopy that Henry encountered the guardian of the night, the wise owl, perched upon an ancient tree that stood as a sentinel at the edge of a moonlit clearing. The owl, with eyes as deep as the night sky, regarded Henry with a serene gaze that soon appears through the shadows of the world. <sighs> Henry, seeker of the warmth of friendship and the light of happiness, Hendren and Far, the owl spoke, its voice a whisper that carried the weight of unspoken truths. Ah, what wisdom do you seek under the cloak of night? Henry, feeling the solemnity of the moment, replied, Blies owl, I seek to understand the mysteries of friendship and the path to true happiness. The river taught me the beauty of flowing with life's currents, but I yearn to know more to understand the bonds that connect us all. The owl nodded, moonlight casting an ethereal glow upon its feathers. The wisdom you seek lies in the stars above, on the earth below. It is in the silent strength of the trees and the quiet whispers of the wind. Friendship, dear Henry, is like the night sky. Vast, beautiful, and filled with countless lights that guide us through the darkness. Each star is a friend, a beacon of hope and a reminder that we're never truly alone. True happiness, the owl continued, is not found in the seeking but in the being. 
It is in the moments shared under the canopy of the universe, in the laughter and tears, and in the silent companionship that speaks louder than words. It is in the simple joys of the journey, in the beauty of the natural world, and in the connections we forge with those we meet along the way. Henry listened, the owl's words resonating within him like a melody that spoke to the very essence of his being. He realized that the happiness he sought was not a destination, but a journey made richer by the friendships he would cultivate, by the moments of connection with the world around him, and by the beauty of life itself. Thank you, wise owl, Hori said, his heart filled with gratitude and a newfound understanding. Your wisdom lights the path I walk, and I will carry your words with me as I continue my journey. The owl, with a gentle flutter of its wings, took flight, disappearing into the night, leaving Henry alone in the vast, starlit sky. In that moment, Henry felt a deep sense of peace and a belonging, as if the universe itself had embraced him, whispering secrets of love, friendship, and happiness. And so, with the wisdom of the wise owl guiding him, Henry set forth once more, his heart alight with the knowledge that the true treasures of life and meet the ones he would find at the end of his journey. But those he would discover along the way, in the wake of the wise owner's departure, Henry found himself alone in the clearing, the canopy of the universe unfurled above him in a display of celestial splendor. The moon, a silver sentinel, bathed the world in a gentle glow, inviting Henry to pause and reflect under its watchful gaze. Choosing a soft patch of earth, Henry ray down, his eyes drawn upwards to the stars that twinkled like jewels scattered across the velvet darkness. As he gazed upon the infinite expanse, a profound sense of wonder and humility filled his soul. The universe, with its endless mysteries and boundless beauty, seemed to whisper ancient truths. Speaking of the interests of an ancientness of all things, the stars, each a distant sun, reminded Henry of the wise old's words that friendship and happiness were akin to the constellations that graced the night sky, guiding lights that offered comfort and direction in the darkness. It was in this moment of quiet contemplation that Henry understood the depth of his journey. It was not merely a quest for happiness or the warmth of friendship. It was a pilgrimage towards understanding his place within the vast tapestry of existence. As the night deepened, a media streaked across the sky, a fleeting beacon of light that carved its path among the stars. Henry saw in its brief journey a metaphor for life itself, brilliant, beautiful, and transient. It dawned on him and the true happiness was found in embracing, a moment in appreciating the beauty of the now, and in the connections forged with others and the bird around him. The stars above him seemed to nod in agreement, the gentle light of comfort and embrace that enveloped Henry and a sense of belonging. He realized that each star, each tree, each creature of the forest, and every soul he would encounter on his journey was a thread in the same cosmic weave, interconnected and interdependent, with a heart full of gratitude and a soul enlightened by the wisdom of the night. Henry drifted into a peaceful slumber under the stars, the quiet of the forest a lullaby that carried him into dreams of distant lands and future friendships. When dawn kissed the horizon, painted the sky with hues of pink, and gold Henry awoke, refreshed and renewed. The night under the stars had been a transformative experience, deepening his understanding of his quest and of himself. Euros his spirit believed by the knowledge that the journey ahead was not one of solitude, but of conviction not just a path towards happiness, but a journey of becoming. As the first light of dawn set the world aglow, Henry, with his spirit renewed, and his heart light, began his ascent towards a mountain that touches the skies. This part of his journey, he knew would test the lessons of resilience, friendship, and happiness he had gleaned from the forest. The river, and the wise owl under the starlit sky. The path was steep and rugged, winding it through dense thickets and over craggy rocks. With each step, Henry felt the weight of his quest, a tangible presence that pushed him to delve deeper into the reservoirs of his strength and determination. Yet despite the physical demands of the climb, 
Henry's heart remained buoyed by the memories of the river's melody, the Kaoka to wisdom, and comforting embrace of the stars. As he climbed, the forest gradually gave way to open sky, the air grew thinner, and the sounds of the forest below faded into a hushed silence, as if the world itself was holding its breath. It was here, amidst the clouds and the echoing solitude, that Henry encountered his first challenge, a chasm that split the path, its depths hidden by the swirling mists that rose from below. Henry stood at the edge, peering into the abyss, understanding that this chasm is more than a physical barrier. It was a test of his faith and courage, drawing upon the river's lesson of glowing with life's currents. Henry closed his eyes and listened, not with his ears, but with his heart. And in that moment of leitude, he heard the faintest whisper of the wind, a gentle nudge urging him to look beyond the chasm. Opening his eyes, Henry noticed, not far from where he stood, a series of stones that jetted out from the Ahasm walls, a hidden path that could lead him across. With a deep breath and a leap of faith, Henry stepped onto the first stone, then the next, each step a testament to his trust in the journey and the lessons it had taught him. Upon reaching the other side, Henry looked back at the chasm, a smile of gratitude playing on his lips. He had overcome the obstacle not through force, but through understanding and faith, a realization that filled him with a profound sense of peace and purpose. The path ahead was no less daunting, winding its way through sheer cliffs and along narrow ledges where the wind whispered secrets known only to the mountains. Yet, Henry's steps were sure, his heart light, for he knew that each challenge was but an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to find joy in the journey itself. As the sun began its descent, painting the sky with strokes of crimson and gold, Henry found himself at the mountain's peak. The world spread out below him in a breathtaking panorama. It was here, amidst the clouds and the fading light, that Henry understood the true essence of his quest. Happiness was not a treasure to be found at the end of a journey, and a companion had walked with him every step of the way. It was in the challenges overcome, the lessons learned, and the friendships forged. It was in the beauty of the world and the simplicity of being, in the flow of the river, the wisdom of the owl, and the light of the stars. And as the stars emerged, twinkling in the vast expanse above, Henry knew that his journey was not at an end, but at a beginning. A beginning of a life lived with an open heart, a spirit of adventure, and a deep appreciation for the simple joys that adorned the path of existence. Chapter 2 Discoveries Along the Way in the Golden Light of Dawn As the first rays of the sun kissed the mountain's peak, Henry began his descent, his heart full of the wisdom and experiences that had transformed his journey into a pilgrimage of the soul. The path forward led him to the edge of a vast meadow, a vista that unfolded like a tapestry woven with the flambered hues of countless flowers and the delicate flutter of butterfly wings. This was the meadow of marvels, a place where the essence of life's simple pleasures was captured in the dance of nature's bounty. As Henry stepped into the meadow, the fragrance of a thousand flowers enveloped him, a mosaic of scents that whispered secrets of joy and serenity. The air was alive with the melodies of birdsong, a symphony that spoke of the beauty of a moment and the intertured untimeness of all living things. Here in the heart of the meadow of marvels, Henry found himself pausing, overwhelmed by the sheer beauty that surrounded him. Each step took him deeper into the embrace of the meadow, where the grass whispered underfoot, and the flowers nodded their heads as if in greeting. It was here among the daisies and the sunflowers, the lavender and the wild roses, that Henry encountered the marvels that dwelled within. Butterflies, their wings a flutter, danced around him in a kaleidoscope of colors, each one a testament to the wonder of transformation and the delicate balance of nature. Henry, moved by the spectacle, sat amidst the flowers, watching as a particularly curious butterfly landed upon his outstretched hand. Its wings, a stunning array of blues and greens, shimmered in the sunlight, 
a masterpiece of nature's design. In this moment, Henry understood the message of the Meadow of Marvels, to find joy in the moment, to revel in the beauty of life's simple pleasures, and to appreciate the wonders of the natural world. As he journeyed through the meadow, each marvel, he encountered taught him a new lesson. The sturdy oak, standing tall and proud, spoke of strength and resilience. The gentle stream, its waters clear and pure, whispered of the importance of adaptability and the grace of flowing with life's currents. And the bees, buzzing from flower to flower, reminded him of the importance of diligence and the intent talent deadness of all things. The meadow of Mervos was a place of learning, a sanctuary where the simplicity of existence was celebrated, and the beauty of the moment was magnified. Henry felt a profound connection to the world around him, a sense of unity with the dance of life that unfolded in every corner of the meadow. As the sun journeyed across the sky, casting long shadows and painting the meadow in hues of gold and amber, Henry knew that the lessons of the Meadow of Marvels would stay with him forever. He had learned to find joy in the simplest of things, to appreciate the beauty that lay in the everyday, and to cherish the moments that, though fleeting, were filled with wonders. With a heart lightened by joy and a spirit enriched by the marvels he had witnessed, Henry continued his journey, leaving the Meadow of Marvels behind but carrying its lessons within him. The meadow, with its dance of butterflies and chorus of birdsong, had taught him to see the world with no eyes, eyes that beheld the beauty and the simplicity of life and the magic in the moment. And so with each step, Henry moved forward, his journey enriched by the discoveries along the way. Each marvel, a reminder of the joy, that could be found in the beauty of life's simple pleasures. As Henry's journey continued, his path led him to the edge of the Whispering Woods, where the air buzzed with the secrets of old, and the leaves rustled with stories untold. It was here, in the dappled sunlight that filtered through the ancient canopy, that Henry's next discovery awaited, a meeting that would test his wisdom and his heart. A rustle in the underbrush caught Henry's attention, and from the shadows emerged a fox its coat a fiery reed against the green of the forest. The fox approached Henry with a sly grin, its eyes glinting with mischief and cunning. There did day during the hedgehog the fox began, its voice smooth and enticing. I couldn't help but notice you seem to be on a journey of importance. What if I told you I knew of a shortcut, one that would lead you to your destination in half the time? And not just that, but a path strewn with treasures untold. Henry regarded the fox warily. The Elwod's wisdom, echoed in his mind, reminding him of the value of trust, integrity, and the peril of deceit. Yet, the fox's offer was tempting. A shortcut in treasures could hasten his journey and bring untold riches. But as the fox awaited his answer, Henry remembered the lessons of the river, the owl, and the meadow of marvels. He recalled the beauty found in the journey itself, the joy in each step, and the wisdom gained through challenges faced and overcome. Thank you for your offer, Henry replied, his voice steady and sure. And I believe I will continue on my path as yes, it is. The journey is as important as the destination, and I trust in the lessons it teaches me along the way. The fox's grin faltered for a moment. Surprised by the hedgehog's resolve, they had quickly recovered, its tone turning, coaxing once more. In short, dear hedgehog, the path I offer is not only quicker but safer. The woods can be a dangerous place for a small creature like yourself. <sighs> Henry felt a twinge of doubt, but he stood firm, bolstered by the wisdom of his experiences. And I appreciate your concern but I must trust in my intuition and the guidance of those who have taught me well. My journey is mine to make, and I will face its challenges with courage and honesty." The fox, seeing that its cunning words had no effect on the hedgehog, let out a sigh, its shoulders slumping in defeat. With a nod of respect to Henry, it spoke very well, hedgehog. You are wiser than most. 
It is rare to find someone who values integrity over the allure of shortcuts and false promises. Go on your way. And may your journey bring you the wisdom and joy you seek. With that, the fox turned and disappeared into the underbrush, leaving Henry to ponder the encounter. He realized that the fox's cunning plan had been a test, one that he had passed by holding true to the values of trust, integrity, and intuition. As Henry continued his journey through the whispering woods, he felt a sense of pride and confidence swell within him. He had faced temptation and deceit, yet he had remained true to himself on the lessons of his journey. The encounter with the fox had reinforced the value of honesty and the importance of listening to one's inner voice, guiding him further along the path of wisdom and understanding. And so, with his heart light and his spirit undimmed, Henry moved forward, his steps guided by the truth he had embraced and the discoveries that lay ahead. The whispering woods with its secrets and stories enveloped him in a world where every leaf and every breeze held the promise of new lessons to be learned and new marvels to be uncovered. As Henry ventured forth from the whispering woods, his heart filled with the lessons of honesty and intuition, the day slowly gave way to the velvet embrace of night. The path, now bathed in the soft glow of twilight, led him into a clearing that seemed touched by a whisper of magic. It was here under the canopy of a starlit sky that Henry would witness a spectacle but would forever change his understanding of beauty and light. As the first stars began to twinkle in the evening sky, the clearing came alive with a no light, not from the heavens above, but from the earth itself. Fireflies and grids of memory emerged from the brass in the trees, turning the meadow into a living constellation. Their lights danced in the air, weaving patterns of brilliance that illuminated the night with an evil glow. Henry stood in awe, his eyes wide with wonder as he watched the dance of the fireflies. Each tiny light seemed to carry a message of hope, a reminder that even the smallest of beings could dispel the darkness with their inner light. The fireflies, unaware of the profound effect they had on the solitary hedgehog, continued their dance, the Bialunu, the Bath Mandalia celebration of life and light. Drawn by the enchantment of the moment, Henry ventured deeper into the meadow, the fireflies swirling around him in a display of welcome. It was as if they recognized a kindred spirit, a fellow traveler on the journey of life who sought to understand the beauty of the world. As he moved among them, Henry realized that the fireflies were not just insects lighting up the night. They were teachers, illuminating the path to wisdom with their delicate glow. They taught him about the light within the innate ability of every creature to shine in the face of darkness, to bring beauty and hope where there was none. The spectacle of the fireflies also spoke to the power of small acts and the collective impact they could have. Each firefly, with its modest light, contributed to the breathtaking display that transformed the night into a spectacle of wonder. It was a powerful lesson for Henry, a realization that even the smallest actions could brighten the darkest of times and back together, even the most diminutive lights could illuminate the world. As the night deepened and the dance of the fireflies reached its crescendo, Henry felt a profound sense of peace and understanding wash over him. He knew now that the journey he was on was not just about seeking happiness and friendship. It was about discovering the light within about learning to shine his own unique way, and about the beauty of contributing to the collective glow of the world. With a heart filled with gratitude, and a soul illuminated by the lessons of the fireflies, Henry lay down in the meadow, the softness of the night a lullaby that soothed him into a peaceful slumber. The fireflies, their dance slowly winding down, continued to flicker gently around him, guardians of the night that had brought him such profound revelations. When they painted the sky with strokes of pink and gold, Henry awoke, refreshed and renewed. The fireflies were gone, but might a memory that burned bright in his heart as he continued his journey. Henry came the lessons of the night, a deeper understanding of his own inner light, 
and knowledge that even the smallest acts of kindness and beauty could illuminate the darkest paths. After leaving the meadow, still aglow with the magic of the fireflies, dance. Henry's journey took him towards the rugged outskirts where the forest met the base of towering mountains. The sky went clear and adorned with stars, now brooded with heavy clouds. The storm was brewing, its approach marked by the low rumble of thunder that echoed through the valley. Henry hastened his steps, aware of the need to find shelter before the storm unleashed its fury. As the first drops of rain began to fall, fat and heavy, the wind picked up, howling through the trees like a wild creature. It was then, amidst the burgeoning tempest, that Henry's path crossed with that of a mountain goat, standing steadfast on a rocky cow crop, its gaze fixed on the darkening sky. Little Hedgehart, a god, called the goat, his voice strong against the wind, me come, find shelter with me. The mountains can be unforgiving during a storm. Grateful for the offer, Henry scurried up the outcrop to where the goat stood. Together, they made their way to a nearby cave, a haven carved into the mountain's side by nature's own hands. Inside, the roar of the storm was muffled, and the air was dry and warm as they settled into the cave. The mountain goat began to share tales of the high peaks and deep valleys, snowstorms and landslides. Of endurance and resilience. Each story was a testament to the strength required to face the challenges of the mountains, to stand firm in the face of adversity, and to emerge stronger with each passing storm. Henry listened enthralled by the goat's tales, each reared with a tapestry of courage and determination. The goat spoke of fears faced and obstacles overcome, the necessity to adapt, and the importance of standing one's ground. Through its stories, the goat imparted a wisdom as ancient as the mountains themselves, a wisdom that spoke of the inner strength that comes from confronting one's fears. As the night deepened and the storm raged outside, Henry found comfort in the goat's tales. He realized that, like the goat and the mountains it called home, he too possessed an inner resilience, a strength that would carry him through the storms he faced on his journey. The goat, Noticing the change in Henry, nodded in approval. You see, little hedgehog, courage does not mean the absence of fear. It means facing your fears, embracing the challenges that come your way, and learning from them. Each storm, each obstacle teaches us about our own strength, about our capacity to persevere. As dawn broke, the storm abated, leaving the world washed clean, sparkling in the fresh blood of morning. And me and the goat emerged from the cave, the air crisp and filled with the scent of rain soaked earth. A landscape transformed by the night's tempest seemed to stand in a silent testimony to the power of resilience and renewal. Henry thanked the goat for its hospitality and the wisdom it had shared. I will carry your stories with me. Nah. Is a heart filled with gratitude and newfound courage, and I will remember that within me lies the strength to face my fears to weather the storms that come my way. With a final nod of respect, Henry set off once more, leaving the mountain goat to its solitary vigil. The encounter had changed him, imbuing him with a deeper understanding of the courage that resides within us all, the unyielding strength found in facing one's fears. As Henry's journey continued, the lessons of the stormy night and the tales of the mountain goat remained with him, guiding lights on the path to discovering the happiness found in simple, the warmth of friendship, and the resilience of the spirit, and the tender light of dawn as the world awakened from the storm's embrace. The mountain goat turned to Henry with eyes that held the wisdom of the ages. Before you continue your journey, Little Hedgehog, we began its voice echoing the calm that now settled over the land. There are lessons from the mountains that you must carry in your heart. Henry, his spirit still aglow from the tales of resilience and strength, listened intently, eager to absorb the wisdom the mountain goat was about to impart. 
the path you choose to follow. The go continued. We'll lead you over steep climbs and through deep valleys. Each step is a testament to your perseverance, each breath a reminder of a life. The tribe within you. The goat paused, gazing out towards the horizon where the mountains met the sky, their peaks a jagged stitches holding the heavens to the earth. Many seek the summit, focusing only on a destination. But the true essence of the journey lies not in the arrival, but in the climb itself. It is in the struggle, the moments of doubt and the triumphs over them, that the beauty of the journey unfolds. Henry pondered these words, feeling their truth resonate within him. The god's wisdom was a beacon, illuminating the path ahead not as a series of destiny reached, but as a journey to be experienced in its entirety, with all its ups and downs. The mountains, the goat went on, teach us about perseverance. They remind us that the most arduous paths often lead to the most breathtaking vistas. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. And when the climb grows steep when your own legs grow weary, remember that the mountain beneath you has stood for eons, its strength now lending itself to you. Henry's heart swelled with a sense of purpose and determination. The lessons of the mountain goat filled in with the courage to face the climbs ahead, not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to discover the strength and resilience that lay within him. And remember, the goat added with a gentle nudge to look aright as you climb. The beauty of the journey is all around you, in the wild flowers that braise the rocky soil, the eagles that soar overhead, and the streams that carve their paths through the stone. These are the companions of your climb, reminders of the beauty and wonder that exist in the struggle. With these final words, the mountain goat stepped back, offering Henry a nod of farewell. The hedgehog, his heart filled with gratitude, knew that the wisdom imparted by the mountain goat would be a lantern guiding his way, illuminating the beauty in the journey, not just the destination. As Henry set forth once more, his steps were light with a newfound understanding. The lessons from the mountain goat had transformed his perspective, teaching him to embrace the climb with perseverance to find joy in the journey, and to remember that the beauty of life flies not in the summits we reach, but in the experiences we die. With each step, Henry killed forward not just the memories of the stormy night. It was wisdom that transcended the mountains from which it came. A reminder to all who journey through life that the true essence of our travels lies in the climb. The struggles we overcome, and the beauty we discover within ourselves and the world around us. As Henry continued his ascent, inspired by the wisdom of the mountain toad, he found himself drawn towards a path he has traveled, winding its way up the mountain's side. The sun hung low in the sky, bathing the world in a golden hue, when Henry stumbled upon an opening hidden amongst the rocks. A cave its entrance cloaked by the shadows of towering pines, curiosity alight within his heart. Henry ventured into the cave, his eyes adjusting to the dim light. There, he discovered walls adorned or ancient carvings, intricate patterns etched into the stone by hands long forgotten. The carvings told a tale of unity and love, of creatures of the forest and the sky coming together in harmony. Their differences woven into a tapestry of shared existence. Henry was mesmerized. The stories etched into the cave's walls spoke to him of a truth he had begun to understand on his journey. That happiness was not a solitary pursuit, but a melody played in the company of riders, each now too richer and more vibrant, reassured. Each carving it could seem to laugh. Animals gathered into the moon's soft glow during stories, trees intertwined, roots and branches touching in a silent dance, rivers flowing towards the sea. No water was minuing in of Kurtur Kurturbris. And at the center of it all, a circle, its lines interlocking, representing the unity of all things, the endless cycle of giving and receiving, of sharing the journey of life. And we realized that the secret of the cave was not hidden in the shadows of its depth, 
but illuminated by the stories carved into his very bones. The revelation deepened his understanding of happiness, teaching him that true joy was found not in the accumulation of things or the pursuit of solitary goals, but in the connections forged with others, in the shared moments of laughter and love, of support. As he traced his fingers over the ancient carvings, Henry felt a kinship with the creatures depicted on the walls. He thought of the friends he had made along his journey, the wise owl, the nurturing rabbits, the steadfast mountain goat, and understood that each encounter, each shared tale, had woven a thread into the fabric of his own story, in which he had never and never imagined with a heart full of gratitude. Henry stepped out of the cave, the setting sun casting long shadows across the path. Had he knew now that the happiness he sought was not a destination to be reached, but a journey to be shared, its beauty magnified by the companionship of those he met along the way. As the stars began to twinkle in the twilight sky, Henry set off once more, his steps light with the understanding of the secret of true happiness, lay in the unity and love shared with others. The ancient carvings of the cave, a testament to the enduring power of connection and companionship, had illuminated the path to a happiness that was deep, fulfilling, and shared. And so, with the secret of the cave held close to his heart, Henry continued his journey, each step a testament to the revelation that happiness, in its truest form, was a shared journey. Its richness found when the moments of connection bind us all. Chapter 3 The Hedgecut's home, as the first light of dawn painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, Henry, the Hedgehog, found himself at the edge of the forest he had once called home, his heart. Now, a treasure chest of lessons and newfound wisdom, beat with a mixture of excitement, then serenity. The journey had transformed him, not just in thought but in spirit. The forest with its familiar scents, the sounds welcomed him back, its canopy a tapestry of light and shadow. Henry stepped into the embrace of the forest, seeing it through eyes that had been transformed by his journey. A whisper of the leaves seemed to tell tales of resilience, the dance of the sunbeams through the branches, a reminder of the beauty in each new day. The forest unchanged in his absence, appeared entirely new to Henry, its wonders magnified by the wisdom he had gathered along his path. He understood now more than ever that happiness was not a treasure to be sought in distant lands, but a gift to be found in the warmth of friendship, the simplicity of home, the lessons of the mountain goat, the secrets of the ancient cave, and the encounters were friends old and Nu had woven a worst tapestry of understanding, teaching Henry that true joy resided in the connection shared with others, and the simple pleasures found in the monuments of their life. As he made his way through the forest, Henry's thoughts turned to the friends he had left behind. The wise owl and nurturing rabbits, the steadfast mountain goat, and even the sly fox, and had taught him the value of trust and intuition. Each encounter, each shared moment, had left an indelible mark on his heart enriching his journey with layers of meaning and joy. Henry's return was not just a physical one. It was a return to the essence of who he was, a being connected to the world around him through threads of love and friendship. The forest with its endless cycle of growth and renewal reflected the journey of his own heart from solitude to a deep understanding of the interparting on and tedness of all things. As he neared the clearing where his journey had begun, Henry felt a surge of gratitude for the journey and the lessons it had bestowed upon him. He realized that the greatest discovery was not any single revelation, but that the journey itself, with its highs and lows, its moments of solitude and companionship, the clearing bathed in the soft light of dawn, welcomed Henry back with open arms. Here, amidst the familiar sights and sounds of his beginning, he knew he would build his home, not just a place of shelter, but a home of the heart, 
where the warmth of friendship and the simplicity of living harmoniously with nature would flourish. Henry, the hedgehog, had come full circle, returning to the forest, La, as the same creature who had left in search of happiness, but as one who had found it within himself and in the world around him. He now understood that happiness was a journey and a destination, a tapestry woven from the threads of shared experiences, simple pleasures, and the love that binds us all. And so, in the heart of the forest he loved, Henry began to build his home, a place where the lessons of the journey would live on. A testament to the enduring truth that happiness lies in the warmth of friendship, the simplicity of home, and the beauty of a one to the in the heart of the forest, under the sprawling branches of the old oak, Henry set about creating his home. It was not to be just any home, but a haven where all were welcome. A testament to the warmth, simplicity, and friendship he had come to cherish. The old oak, known to all as the heart of their community, seemed the perfect place to lay the foundation of his dream. Word of Henry's project spread quickly through the forest, and soon, friends old and new came forward to lend a paw, a hoof, or a wing. The wise owl offered wisdom in the design, ensuring the home would be both cozy and wise to the ways of the world. The rabbits, with their knack for burrowing, helped to dig the foundations deep into the old oak creating a den that was both safe and welcoming. Even the fox, with whom Henry had shared a lesson in trust and cunning, contributed to the effort bringing rich, red leaves from the far side of the forest to thatch the roof. The mountain goat, surf-footed and steady, helped transport materials that were hard to reach, ensuring that the hull would be sturdy against the winds and the rains. Together, they worked under the sun and the stars, their laughter and chatter fill on the air, weaving a tapestry of community and camaraderie. The home that emerged under the old oak was more than just a structure. It was a manifestation of the journey Henry had undertaken, a physical embodiment of the lessons learned and the friendship forged along the way. The den was simple, yet it held within its walls the richness of the forest. Its entrance was framed by wildflowers, a welcoming sight to any who approached. Inside, the space was warm and inviting, with a hearth at its center where fires could be lit to ward off the chill of winter nights. Shells carved from the wood of fallen branches held books and tree could speech with a story tell, gifts from friends and reminders of adventures past. But it was not just the physical attributes that made Henry's home special. It was the spirit of openness and generosity that filled it, a place where all could find refuge. Sure story, or enjoy a moment of peace. Henry's home was a reflection of his heart, a place where the simplicity of happiness found in friendship and community was celebrated daily. The day came when the home was finally complete, and Henry stood at its entrance, his heart brimming with gratitude. He looked around at the faces of his friends, each of whom had played a part in bringing this dream to life. There, under the old oak, Craig gathered to celebrate not just the creation of a home, but the bonds that had been strengthened, and the community that had been built. Night, night, as the fire crackled, and the stars twinkled overhead, Henry knew that he had found the true essence of happiness. It was not a solitary treasure to be hoarded, but a gift to be shared, a simple yet profound truth that had guided him home. And so, under the old oak, Henry's home became a beacon of warmth and simplicity, a place where all were welcome, and a journey of happiness continued, woven into the fabric of their shared lives, a reminder that the greatest joys are those that are shared. Upon the completion of his cozy den beneath the old oak, Henry Hedgehog decided to harvest a gathering like no other the forest had seen. It was to be a celebration not just of his new home, but of the countless friendships he had forged on his journey. Invitations fluttered through the forest, carried by the breeze, the birds, and the bustling creatures, each one calling to both new and old friends to join in the celebration. As the day of the gathering arrived, the forest buzzed with anticipation. From every corner of the woods, from the meadows to the mountain peaks, friends began their trip to Henry's home. The wise owl, the playful rabbits, the steadfast mountain goat, and even the sly fox, 
who had learned much about trust from Henry, all made their way to the gathering. The butterflies danced through the air meeting the way, while the fireflies promised to light the evening with their gentle glow. Henry had prepared his own with care, ensuring that every corner spoke of welcome and warmth. The hearth was lit, casting a cozy glow over the den, while outside, under the boughs of purpled oak, tables were laden with an assortment of forest delicacies, berries and nuts, honeycomb and mushrooms, and a feast of other treats gathered from the forest bounty awaited the guests. Lanterns hung from the branches, and petals scattered on the ground perfumed the air as the guests arrived, the air filled with laughter and chatter, a symphony of joy that resonated through the heart of the forest. Henry greeted each friend with a warm embrace, his heart swelling with happiness. Here, and with old oak, the bonds of friendship were celebrated, a testament to the journey that had brought them all together. The evening unfolded with stories shared and memories recounted each tale a thread in the rich tapestry of their community. The owl spoke of wisdom and the stars, the rampage of laughter and play, and the mountain goat of resilience and strength. Even the fox, with a twinkle in his eye, shared a story of cunning turned to kindness, a lesson learned in the company of friends. As the night deepened, the fireflies took to the stage, their dance a mesmerizing display that left all in awe, the beauty of the moment, and to the twinkling stars and the gentle light of the fireflies, was a poignant reminder of the magic that exists when hearts are open and friendships are cherished. Henry, looking around at the faces illuminated by the soft glow, felt a profound sense of belonging. This gathering, a simple celebration in his new home, was a manifestation of all. He had blamed and all he had come to hold dear. Happiness, he realized, was not a solitary treasure to be found at the end of a journey, but a shared joy that blossomed in the presence of friends and loved ones. As the evening waned, and the first light of dawn began to touch the sky, the gathering drew to a close. Promises to meet again soon were exchanged, hands were shared, and grateful glances cast towards Henry, who had, in his quest for happiness, created a space where everyone felt at home. The hedgehog watched as his friends made their way back through the forest, their laughter and voices a comforting echo in the night. With a heart full of gratitude, Henry understood that his journey had led him not just to a home made of earth and wood, but to a home built on the foundation of friendship, love, on the shared joy of a community united. And so, on with the old oak, Henry's home became more than just a place of shelter. It was a beacon of light in the forest, a place where all uh, were welcome, and where happiness was found in the simple, beautiful tapestry of togetherness. In the heart of the gathering, as the fireflies, land began to dim, the stars watched silently from above Henry. Hedgehog decided it was time to share the tale of his journey. The circle of friends, now quiet and attentive, leaned in, eager to hear the story from the hedgehog, who had ventured far and returned with wisdom in his heart. Henry began his tale under the old oak, his voice soft, but full with the excitement of really living his adventures. He spoke of the day he set out, driven by a longing to find what happiness truly meant. He recounted his first steps into the vast forest, each path brimming with the unknown, and how the sight of the rising sun had filled him with hope. With each chapter of his journey, Henry shared the lessons he had learned. He spoke of the wise owl who taught him the value of wisdom, and the importance of listening to the quiet whispers of the night. Harry counted the joyous leaps with the rabbits, which reminded him to find delight in the simplest of pleasures and to cherish the moment. The tale of the sly fox brought murmurs of surprise and nods of understanding, as Henry described how integrity and trust had guided him through deception. The fox's cunning plan, he explained, was a lesson in valuing honesty and following one's intuition. As Henry described the enchanting dance of the fireflies, his friends could almost see the night come alive with tiny lights. 
teaching him about the inner light that resides in everyone and the power of small acts to illuminate the darkest times. The stormy night and the shelter with the mountain goat brought a hush to the gathering. Henry shared the courage he found in facing fears and the strength that come from resilience, a lesson imparted by the steadfast goat against the backdrop of thunder and lightning. With warmth in his voice, Henry spoke of the final leg of his journey, the climb to the mountain's peak, and the ancient carvings in the hidden cave. The secret of the cave, he revealed, was the story of unity and love. The testament to happiness is a shared journey echoing the very essence of their gathering under the old oak. Henry's tale came to a close with his return to the forest, seeing it anew, transformed by the wisdom of his journey. He spoke of building his home, a sanctuary of warmth and simplicity, and the gathering that had brought them all together, a circle of friends united by their shared experiences. A Hardyaga story, woven with the threads of courage, friendship, and the beauty of simplicity, left a profound impact on those who listened. Moved by his words, the animals of the forest found themselves inspired to see the beauty in their paths and to recognize the strength that comes from togetherness. As the first light of dawn crept across the sky, marking the end of the gathering, Henry's friends approached him one by one to express their gratitude. They thanked him not just for the warmth of his hospitality, but for the gift of his story which had reminded them of the preciousness of their bonds and the joy of shared journeys. The tale of the Hedgelga journey became a cherished legend in the forest, a story passed down through generations. It served as a beacon of hope, inspiring others to embark on their own journeys, to find courage in the face of the unknown, and to remember that happiness, in its truest form, is found in the warmth of friendship and the simplicity of home. Under the old oak, Henry's home stood as a testament to his journey, a place where the door was always open, welcoming all who sought the comfort of friendship and the simple joys of a life shared. And in the heart of the forest, happiness flourished, nurtured by the tales of a hedgehog, who had ventured far to bring back the timeless lessons of courage, friendship, and the beauty of living simply. Together, as the leaves turned from green to gold, and then to brown, and the air carried the crisp promise of snow. The forest prepared for its first winter since Henry's return. The hedgehog watched with a heart full of contentment as the forest creatures, his friends readied themselves for the cold months ahead. It was a time of gathering, of preparing, and of coming together, much like they had for the celebration of his new home. Henry, too, prepared his cozy den under the old oak for winter. He filled his larder with nuts and berries, his shells of books and trinkets from his journey, and his heart with the anticipation of sharing the warmth of his home with friends. As the first snowflakes of the season began to fall, a soft, gentle blanket covering the forest floor, Henry lit a fire in his hearth, its glow a beacon in the winter's chill. One by one, his friends made their way through the snow to Henry's home. A wise owl, the playful rabbits, the steadfast mountain goat, and even the sly fox, whose cunning had turned to wisdom, all gathered around the fire, drawn by the warmth of friendship and the promise of shared stories. As they settled in, wrapped in the comfort of Henry's home, and the crack of the fire, the hedgehog realized that this was the moment he had sought all along. And the happiness he journeyed so far to find was not a distant dream from beyond the mountains, but a reality crafted right here in the heart of the forest, surrounded by the friends who had become his family. The evening unfolded with tales of winter's past, of snowstorms weathered and sunny days remembered. Henry shared this story of this journey once more, but this time as a tale of gratitude for the lessons learned and the friendships forged. His friends, in turn, spoke of their own adventures in the paths that had led them to this moment and to the old oak in the warmth of Henry's home. As the fire burned low and the night deepened, a profound sense of peace settled over the gathering. They had come together as individuals, each with their own stories and journeys, but they shared the night as one, 
united by the bonds of friendship and the simple joy of being together. Henry, looking around at the faces illuminated by the fire's glow, knew that he had found happiness he sought. It was not a treasure to be found or a destination to be reached, but a journey to be shared with those who walked beside him. Happiness was the warmth of the fire in a cold winter's night. The laughter shared between friends, and the quiet understanding that no matter where life's journey took them, they would always have a place to belong right here in the heart of a forest. As the first winter since his return embraced the forest in its snowy grasp, Henry and his friends found comfort in the knowledge that together, they could weather any storm. The seasons would change, as they always do, but the warmth of friendship, like the fire in Henry's hearth, would never fade. And so as the stars twinkled above, and the snow continued to fall, Henry and his friends shared in the happiness of the moment. A happiness that was all the richer for being shared. In the heart of the forest, surrounded by the beauty of nature and the warmth of friendship, the hedgehog had found his home, and with it the true essence of happiness. In the heart of the forest, under the ancient and wise old oak, the hedgehog's home stood as a testament to the journey of a little creature with a big heart. As the winter deepened, and the snow painted the world in hues of silence and peace. Henry, the hedgehog, often found himself in moments of quiet reflection. The laughter and warmth that now filled his home were like the ditto flickers of sunlight through the forest canopy, illuminating the true essence of happiness. Henry's journey had been long and filled with lessons that now like the carvings on the ancient stones in the hidden cave, hutched themselves deeply into his heart. He had sought happiness beyond the mountains and down and through adventures untold, only to discover that the greatest joy lay in the simplicity of moments shared with friends in the quiet beauty of a forest and in the cozy warmth of his own home. As the winter nights grew longer, Henry's son became a beacon of light and warmth in the forest. Friends, old and new, would gather around the fire, sharing tales of their own adventures and the lessons they had learned. A laughter at the stories and the shared silences wove a tapestry of friendship and community that warmed the heart as much as the fire warmed their bodies. And I realized that happiness was not a treasure to be found at the end of a long journey, but a treasure that was built day by day in the simple moments and the choices we make. There was in the smile of a friend, the warmth of a shared fire, the beauty of a snow-covered forest, and the quiet contentment of being surrounded by those who understood and cherished you. This home, once a dream woven from the threads of hope and the desire for a place to belong, now stood as a beacon of joy found in simplicity. It welcomed all who sought it, offering warm friendship and the promise of shared moments. Henry's journey had taught him that the most profound joys in life were often the simplest ones. And his Han embodied this wisdom. The seasons would turn, as they always do, and the snow would eventually give way to the first whispers of spring. With the lessons of the winter, the warmth of the fire and the joy of shared companionship would remain. Henry's home, under the protective boughs of the old oak, would continue to be a place of refuge of laughter end of love, welcoming all who sought the true essence of happiness. As the story of the hedgehog this journey comes to a close, we are reminded of the beauty in the journey of life, not just in the destinations we reach, but in the moments we share along the way. Henry's tale from the heart of the forest echoes the timeless truth that the happiness is found not in the seeking, but in the simple joy of living and the warmth of friendship and in the love that surrounds us, if only we open our hearts to it. In the end, the joy of simplicity shines brightest, a guiding star for all who journey through life's forests. Henry's home, filled with laughter and love, stands as a beacon to this truth, welcoming all who seek the warmth of companionship and the simple, profound joys that life offers to those who embrace it with an open heart.